What's good guys, today I want to talk about this situation with YBN Namir. YBN Namir is a young rapper who was very hot and promising a few years ago. In 2017 he came with a big hits like Rubbing of the Paint and then also Bounce Out with Zed, for which Cole Bennett directed the video. But now he is pretty much flopped and he's a non-essential rapper for the industry, of which we have like hundreds. His fame and fire don't even come close to the way he is back then at the time he blew up, and of course we can't forget that his YBN gang also fell apart, and the members went their own lanes, someone like Namir didn't continue his path very successfully, I mean Almighty J, don't have a clue what he's doing right now, but Corday for example now shines brightly and actively developing his career, but again, back to Namir. There are several versions, reasons why he flopped like that. Firstly, of course, it is clear that he was satisfied with short-term success. I'm talking about the fact that he didn't use, not squeezed out all of the benefits from the momentum that he received at that moment when he blew up. Namir didn't put out projects, he was very late with the release of his debut album, in general he kind of relaxed his ass. Or the whole point is that the label ate the artist. As we know, Namir is signed to Atlantic Records, where many more major artists are signed. Apparently, at some point, the label most likely decided to postpone Namir and not develop him, and this once again could well play a role in the fact that the release of his albums was delayed, he even talked about this in one of his interviews. So these two main reasons, Namir get lazy and his problems with the label. The other day Namir went public about his problems and tweeted several posts about his alcohol addiction. Alright child, I feel like it's best for me to just get this out my system. For three years I've been struggling with an alcoholic addiction. I've changed so much due to it and not in the right ways. I have pushed so many of my loved ones away and the people I care about because of it. I have constantly tried to slow down, stop myself from drinking, but it's not easy at all. This year I want a new challenge, the challenge is for me to get clean. I never knew addiction was this hard, beforehand it was easy for me to block it out, but now it's taking a toll. It's just been a lot going on in my life behind closed doors that I live off the internet. The only thing I wanna do now in life is get help, therapy or even rehab, to feel like myself again and get my family back. I'm sorry y'all, I slipped. If you are struggling with addiction it's best to seek help. That's all I'm trying to do. I used to think this was just some normal shit, until I realized I'm not the same anymore. Shit is one of the worst feelings ever. So as we see this whole thing that I spoke about at the beginning really came true. The guy was distracted from his career, got addicted to alcohol and on shit like that he just slowed down in his craft. For example, Corday from the former YBN gang went the other way took everything in his own hands, didn't take a hiatus from releasing his projects when necessary, so Carday really looks like a rareable artist with his head on his shoulders, gives the impression that he is here for a long time. Well, we can only wish Namir all the best, he still somehow keeps afloat, he had a little light moments, you probably know there was a hit record Top Stapa featuring 21 Savage. This one went viral on TikTok. I hope it's not over yet and will he some more dope stuff from Namir, although guy is only 22 and he's already seen ups and downs, he certainly made a lot of mistakes in his career, noticeably his attitude was not entirely serious and at the end of the day he originally came in the game as if for fun, he was just a young kid who was not ready for such a big numbers and therefore failed to competently keep it. I think one day Namir will finally grow up take everything more seriously, put his life and career in order and shine again. Thank you so much for watching, it was the all the time channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, videos will be uploaded here on a regular basis, industry discussions, we will cover events from the world of music, my takes on different occasions, therefore I hope for your support, slime love all the time, until the next updates, stay tuned guys.